Now we're going to take a look at the Message Manager. This is another plugin for the Explorer that extends the message browser that's already part of the core product. So I'm going to start by looking at the messages that are on a queue. Uh, we'll go to the browser in the normal way and we see two messages are sitting on the queue. I can select one and you can see the data in there just as you would expect to, to find. But now when I select the new menu item, the message manager, I will display that in a more structured format, looking very much like the output that you would see from the AMQS BCG program. I can select multiple messages as well. So display two of them in the same window. And as I page down, you can see two messages with the contents of them. But the message manager does more than just display the contents of messages. We can do things like move them as well, or copy them to another place. I'm going to now copy that message to another queue. And when I refresh the browser, because I've now got uh, messages on that second queue, we will see it turn up in the filter. And here is the message that I copied from the original queue. I can delete the messages or move them as well. So if I move this message to the other queue, then we'll end up with just one message on the original queue and two identical messages on the copy queue. And we can see that here. And I'll show that we can see more than just a simple browse with the contents of the queue. The message manager can also format known headers. So I've selected a queue where I know there are messages of a more complex format. And here we can see those elements formatted as the MQ structures, such as the uh, CFST for a uh, PCF string structure, and so on, all the way down. This happens to be an event message MA0P also has event formatting where we can see these in a much more structured format as well. But this just shows the message manager can understand them in a flattened format when we display it. And that completes this short tour of some of the features of MS0P. As I said at the beginning, I hope you found it useful. Thank you.